In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a painting YouTube channel that generates as much as $5,000 per month. So make sure you watch this entire video to learn how to get started step by step. Hello, this is startthechannel.com where we show you step by step how to start a successful YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell if this video or any other video on this channel helps you out. So basically what we are going to cover today is picking a niche and why that's important for your audience and how to niche down. Next, we're going to talk about the equipment that you need to get up and running and why you should consider getting brand colors. After that, we're going to help you get channel art and then do a little bit of keyword research so that you can grow faster. Next, we're gonna talk about how to create videos and how to create thumbnails for those videos and your upload schedule. After that, I'm gonna show you the right way to share in social media. A lot of people do it wrong. I'm gonna help you do it the right way. And finally, we are going to conclude with different ways to make money and why you should get a website in the very beginning. So first things first, let's go ahead and get right into this. Here are some examples of successful YouTube channels. As you can see here, this person does daily challenges where they create a new, where they create something new every single day. This person here does acrylic and I really like this channel because she tells you, this person tells you exactly what their channel is all about. And this is going to go into helping you niche down and talk to a very targeted group of people. And then here is another example of a successful YouTube channel. And this is a very basic channel. Each of these, each of these channels does everything right. And it's very basic and very easy. So if we go back over to our slide deck here, we want to make sure that we are picking a niche and niching down. In my opinion, it is very important to pick a niche and niche down because again, you are talking to a very targeted group of people. If you're talking about very general topics, it's going to be difficult for you to gain traction. But if you talk about acrylic painting or teaching kids how to paint, I know that was pretty popular within the last few years, showing them step by step. I know that my kids went through it in their kindergarten class where they were being taught via YouTube how to draw and paint. So that can be something very powerful as well. Make sure that you pick a niche and niche down. I really like this example here with the acrylic painting. That's going to help you go further. For example, if we paste it into our search bar and hit the space bar, you can see people are asking questions about acrylic painting. And we could even type in painting here. As you can see, acrylic painting, hit the space bar. There's even more people searching for these things and that's gonna help you grow much faster. Let's go back over to our slide deck. The next thing you wanna get is the necessary equipment. What you need in the very beginning is a microphone and a way to record your content. I recommend getting a camera. If you click the second link in the description, it actually has a discussion on everything you need step by step. If you have no money to invest in the very beginning, I recommend using your smartphone. You can use your smartphone to record as well as to uh, capture audio. But if you have a few dollars, I recommend that you start with a high quality camera and a high quality microphone in that order. And you'll also need some, also you'll need video editing software to edit your videos. You can start for free with openshot.org. If you have a Mac computer, you can use QuickTime and iMovie to put stuff together. But I recommend in the very beginning, if you have no money, use your smartphone to get up and running. You can do everything with your smartphone. But once you start making some money, reinvest into a decent camera and a decent microphone. That second link in the description will have a list of all of my recommended products for your YouTube channel. Next, you want to get brand colors. Brand colors are important because that's how people are going to identify with your website. As you can see, it has it's a very basic background. If we look, you can see people are going to identify with this. It, it displays exactly what your channel is all about. And I think that brand colors will actually help you grow your YouTube channel much faster. As you can see, look at this. This is a basic table and then they're painting. They have a basic white sheet of paper and that's what you want to do too. If you have no idea what your brand colors are, what you, what, what you want your brand colors to be, you can use something called the Canva color palette. And they actually put together a uh, tons of different color palettes that you can use. What you can do is click on this like that. And then it's actually going to give you an example of the color palette in action. You can copy the color here or you find the hex code and then go from there. The next step is to create your channel art. Now, when it comes to channel art, I'm talking about your banner, your logo, as well as your thumbnails. And you can do that one of two ways. You can do it for free or you can hire someone to do it. If you decide to do it for free, you can use a free website called Canva and you just type in YouTube channel art. As you can see here, you can start from scratch or you can use one of these templates and then improve it. Or if you want to hire someone to do it, you can go over to Fiverr 
and you can type in YouTube channel art as you can see here. And once again, you can hire somebody using the colors that you found in the previous step, and then they'll actually put something together for you within 48 hours. So either way, I think branding your content, branding your YouTube channel is really important. It's going to convince people that they should subscribe because you've created content, you've created, um, you, you, you're telling people that you are serious about your YouTube channel, and that's going to encourage them to subscribe. So if we go back over to our slide deck here, the next step is to go out and do a little bit of keyword research. Keyword research is going to be important because you don't have a following. You don't have people that are going to naturally come to your channel. So what I recommend that you do is go up to the search bar and there's two ways to do keyword research. This is the hard way. I'll show you the easy way in just a second. You're going to paste in acrylic painting if this is your niche and then hit the space bar. As you can see, there are people that are creating content about acrylic painting. There are people asking questions about acrylic painting. So if we go down to acrylic painting for beginners and hit the space bar again, you're going to see that there are tons of content out there. Now, again, this is the more difficult way. This is the way that's going to take a little bit longer. Now, the faster way, if we copy this once again, is to download a free Chrome extension right to your, your web browser that will allow you to find keywords faster. If you click the fourth link in the description, you'll be able to get access to it. But if we go back over here, we're going to open up this Chrome extension, click on keyword finder, and we are going to paste it in just like this. And we can, it'll tell us how difficult this keyword would be to rank. So as you can see, it says poor 19 out of 100. What we can do is we can take a look at some of the suggestions, for example, acrylic painting for beginners. And this is important because it's going to help you grow faster. I just changed it to acrylic painting for beginners. And as you can see, the recommendation is up to 51. We can do acrylic painting for beginners landscape. We'll click on that and let's see what happens there. Most likely our overall score, it actually went down a little bit, but as you can see, this is a good guide to help you determine what you should and should not create content. If we just stopped at acrylic painting, it would be difficult for our channel to get traction. That's a mistake that a lot of new YouTubers make as they create content that's too competitive, but get this Chrome extension and it'll make your life much easier. Now, if we go back over to our slide deck, the next step is simply to create videos. Now, when you're creating these videos, you want to make sure that you are being as descriptive as possible. You want to make sure that you are being both entertaining and educational. And if you watch any of these videos, that's exactly what they're doing. They're talking through the process and they're showing you what they're doing step by step. They're explaining maybe the history, the background, and the reason why they're using these different colors. And you can do this too. I recommend that you do do this so that you can build the following and get the subscribers that you're looking for. If we go back over here, the next step is to create thumbnails. Now I recommend that you create thumbnails that are modeled after thumbnails that are already working. For example, if we go to acrylic painting for beginners, we're just going to copy this, close this, and we're going to go back up to our search bar and paste it in. Now, the reason why you want to model after what's working is because it already works. You don't want to try and reinvent the wheel. As you can see here, these top two are very basic. They have an picture of the finished product. This third one, again, picture of the finished product. And you want to do that too. You don't want to try and get crazy and, and reinvent the wheel. You want to try and do what's already working. And so once you have that, once you have a following, you can get kind of, kind of crazy. You can start thinking outside the box. But when you do it this way, you are modeling success and you're improving on what is working. Very basic pictures. And they also have some of the tools that they used included in the image. And I recommend that you should do that too. So search the keyword that you are going to create content and take a look at the thumbnails. The next thing that you want to do is upload on a schedule. In the beginning, it is very important that you upload consistently on a schedule. The people that struggle to grow on YouTube are the people that don't upload consistently enough over a long period of time. People that struggle will, will upload once every three months and then they wonder why they're not getting any traction. If you are a brand new YouTuber, I recommend that you upload at least three times per week. And to help with that, I think you should batch out your content. And basically what that means is instead of creating content or creating a video every single day or every other day, sit down on a Saturday and create three videos or five videos, whatever you can squeeze out and then schedule them to upload over the next few weeks or, or over the next week or two. The reason why you want to do it that way is so that you don't get burnt out. It's much easier to batch out your content. You already have all of your tools and supplies out. And so it'll make it much easier. If you look at this channel here, she is uploading, it looks like a, a couple times per week. She just uploaded yesterday. 
uh, maybe a couple times per week. She could probably upload a little bit more to get the level of, of traffic and subscribers that she wants. If you look at this one, they are uploading every single day. And she has 852,000 subscribers, so, so that should tell you which way to go. After that, we are going to uh, upload on social media. Now, there is a right way and wrong way to upload on social media. The wrong way is what most people do. They go over to YouTube or they go over to Facebook and they post their new YouTube videos right on their personal wall. This will not work at all just because most of your friends and family don't care about your new YouTube channel. Um, what you should do instead is go out and find Facebook groups that are interested in your content. For example, this acrylic painting, 102,000 subscribers. Second one below that, 9,000, 10,000 subscribers. 70,000 subscribers for acrylic painting, beginner and intermediate. Now what you wanna do when you post on these groups is instead of just posting your YouTube channel, you want to add value, solve problems, answer questions first, and then when the time comes and people see you as a subject matter expert, you can post in your links. Or you can even start your own YouTube channel with acrylic painting, but you wanna make sure that you are providing value whenever you post. Don't just spam your YouTube link. The group owners will not like that. If we go back over here, the next thing is to look at different ways to make money. There are at least five ways to make money with your new YouTube channel. The most common and obvious way is the YouTube Partner Program. With this program, you need to have 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers to qualify. That doesn't mean that you'll get accepted. It just means you meet the minimum qualifications. This is probably the least profitable way to make money. And the number that I showed you here, the 5,000 is just with the YouTube partner program, but there are other ways to make money as well. One of the best ways to make money is with affiliate marketing. And with affiliate marketing, you are simply recommending or selling other people's products and services. And the way that affiliate marketing works is you find products and services that are congruent with your YouTube channel and you recommend them. You put affiliate links in the descriptions of your videos and when people click and buy, you get paid. Now with the painting niche, you could recommend obviously brushes and canvases and even painting tables from Amazon. There are tons of different affiliate programs out there, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, there's, there's a bunch out there that you could recommend and make money. Another way that you can make money is with selling your own physical and digital products. For example, maybe you have a course that teaches people how to paint acrylics step by step. And you could sell that course for as little as $5, we'll say. If we take this video here that got 100,000 subscribers and we added a link to sell our digital product for $5, I'll show you how much money you could potentially make assuming that only 1% buy. So we take that, that's 1,000 people that buy. So we'll take 1,000, multiply that by five. You've made $5,000 from just one video. But if you put that same link in all of your videos, that gives you an opportunity to make even more money. As you can see, selling your own digital products on YouTube could be extremely profitable. Another way that you can make money is by collecting emails. Now, email marketing is profitable simply because you can send people back over to your YouTube channel anytime you upload a brand new video. You can sell them products as an affiliate from your email list, or you can even sell them your own digital and physical products as you create them. The final way that you can make money, and there's a bunch of them out there, is by starting a Patreon. Believe it or not, Patreons are very profitable with YouTube subscribers, you can offer exclusive content. You can offer maybe like live sessions, something that you don't offer on your YouTube channel. There's a lot of opportunity. And the final thing that we wanna to cover today is to get a website. In my opinion, you should have a website as your base of operations. If your YouTube channel were to disappear tomorrow, you would have no recourse without a website. But if you get a website, it's an additional way to make money. You can send people to your website uh, you can blog about different things if you want to. You can build a stronger, deeper connection with your your YouTube and your, your viewers by just simply building a website and adding content. Now, you don't have to add content every single day, but just so you know that that is an option as well. Now, be sure to check out the links in the description. The first link is for a free YouTube checklist to give you everything that you need step by step. The second link is the recommended equipment. Third link is the channel art that I the third link is a guide on channel art. Fourth link is the keyword research tool that I recommend that makes your life much easier. Fifth link is for the different ways to make money. And then the sixth link is to get a, set up a website step-by-step. Step. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell if this video or any other video on this channel helps you out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.